Tonight, as the nation tries to fight off the coronavirus pandemic, President Donald Trump is looking for ways to get the country moving again. He is worried, like everyone else, about jobs, businesses, and the future of the nation. The question is, when will Americans get the green light? We have team coverage this evening, starting with correspondent Owen Jensen at the White House. Tracy, here at the White House, the president says Americans out of work isn't healthy either, and he'd like to see them back to work by Easter. As people and businesses sit idle, the president wants the nation to get back to work eventually. And why would we close down 100 percent of the country? But he also knows people's lives are at stake. I'm not looking, I'm not looking at months, I can tell you right now. We're going to be opening up our country. And uh, we're going to be watching certain areas, and we're going to be practicing everything that uh, Deborah is referring to right here. I mean, we're going to be watching this very closely. There is a clamor to try to reopen the economy. Speaking outside the West Wing this morning, White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow talked about the money on the way to help suffering Americans. We, we still going to need the assistance because in the next week or two or three, you're still going to have a lot of hot zones. You're still going to lot of have shut-ins. There's no miracle here. We're not just, you know, flipping a switch. So the assistance is so vital. On Wall Street, stocks soared over hopes of government aid. The virus has parked airplanes, shut hotels, and closed restaurants to dine in customers. Folks, just staying home. I signed a supplemental to my emergency proclamation for a stay-at-home order for everyone in the state of Hawaii. Meanwhile, Ford announcing it's working with some other giant companies to produce medical equipment and protective gear to help those on the front lines. The one that I think we're going to make the biggest impact on is a positive air pressure mask. As these healthcare workers wear this shield over the face, the air moves inside of them to keep the virus from actually entering their eyes. In New York State, they're worried there could see as many as 40,000 people in intensive care in the coming days. India just ordered the massive lockdown of that entire nation, 1.3 billion people, and 400,000 people worldwide are infected by the illness. Most do recover. Tracy? All right. Thank you, Owen. Correspondent Owen Jensen reporting from the White House tonight.